Join Formula D drifter Chris Forsberg as he jets across the globe to Japan, where he will discover the roots of drifting, get a culture crash course, and slide sideways where few American drivers ever have. Chris Forsberg. He's a 22-year-old professional drifter and one of the rising stars of Formula D. Chris drives the Team Falcon Tire and is a member of the drifting crew that drives hard and parties harder, the Drift Alliance. He started drifting in Pennsylvania at the age of 17 and has been tearing up the track ever since. Last year, he finished third in the final point standings for the Formula D season. Chris has never been to Japan, so he's about to embark on the trip of his life to explore the roots of drifting. There, he's gonna meet up with his good friend and fellow Formula D driver, Daijiro Yoshihara. Dai is gonna be his tour guide as he shows him the busy streets of Tokyo, takes him to the birthplace of drifting, the mountain roads known as the Toge, and together, they will drift at one of the most famous collections of drift courses, the Ebisu Circuit. What's up, guys? It's Chris Forsberg. Getting ready to go to Japan? I'm really excited to be going to Ebisu. Never been there before, We've never been to Japan at all, but, uh, Ebisu is uh, one of my favorite tracks. You know, I'm going to get to meet up with Kuma Kubo. He was an excellent driver, an amazing guy. And that's what drifting is all about. He's going out and having a good time. I've been drifting for about five years. The Japanese drivers, some of them have been going over 20 years. So it's like, you can't even compare to that. Got a plane to catch, so I'll see you guys on the other side of the globe. This is Dai. At 26 years old, Dai is one of the hottest Formula D drivers. He beat out Chris for second place in points last season, driving for the Pacific Rim Drift Team. He lives in Japan and commutes to the U.S. for each Formula D event. Daijiro is just going to show us around like local places, going to Tokyo. He says that he really likes it there, so he's also really looking forward to it. He's going to show us around, take us over to the uh, like big electronic city where they have all like you know the new gadgets that Japan always has that we don't. <laughs> The video camera's upstairs? I think so. See, I couldn't get one of these because I'd lose it. I couldn't keep dragging something like this. Now this, this is what I'm talking about right here. Dai, you got some extra money? No. I'm only, um... No, I'm only, um, 390,000 short. <laughs> <laughs> What's in Club Sega? It's an arcade game, like a Dave and Busters. Oh, yeah? JD and Dave and Busters? Yeah. Uh -huh. But, you know, no drink. Die. Wow. Style. And you have to, you have to get this one too. The tuna. Oh yeah, the tuna. But you better try that one too. Oh, this one. It's here? most expensive stuff. Here. Really? Yeah. This one of the most expensive stuff on here. I guess so. Don't tell. <laughs> don't tell until the bill comes. So, so what is this? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> wow. This is the tuna, quarry tuna. tuna, and then salmon. What is this? Fermented sleepies. Rotten beans. Well, it looks like life in Japan is slightly different than Chris is used to. When Formula D comes back, the guys take a trip to one of the most famous places from drifting's past, the Toge Passes of Hajioji, Tokyo.
As we check in with the fellas, they embark on a journey to the mountains where drifting began over 30 years ago, the Toge. Oh! Going. <laughs> what is that sign? Oh, there's a zone drift, posterior drifting here. It's very wow. scary. Nice work, Jai. <laughs> okay, we are here in Japanese Toge, and this is one of the main corners for drifting. Basically, people just just driving grip, no drifting, but naturally, if you drive fast in toge, you have to... Oh, you're saying the car will start to slide yeah, sometimes? Yeah, exactly. Because it's just so windy back and forth. Yes, exactly. So, basically, they're just always counter steering, mm -hmm. and it developed into drifting. Yeah. This is where I started drifting when I was a beginner. You know, downhill, climb hill. But especially rainy day. Really? Yeah. You were scared of crashing? So scary. I crashed. <laughs> Three times, one time come here. Like crash, 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 crash. <laughs> so this is basically where it all started. It's up here on these mountain roads. Yeah, it looks like it's very fun. It's a lot of nice corners. Yeah. Some wide uh, ones, some real tight technical uh -huh. ones. I thought you said keep it in the left eye. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but. I'm special. You die is special. Yes. See, oh. these are the bumps. Oh, is these the bumps? Yeah. The, the drift bumps? Careful. Bumps can't stop die. Yeah. <laughs> what's, uh, what's that right there? Oh, this is a camera. And if people do drift in, oh, it's, it's going to come. Can I take your picture? Yeah. Oh, man. The most big reason we cannot drift in here anymore is mm -hmm. too much police and uh, too many traffic. Oh, man. This is a new town point. Flip of it. <laughs> Flip of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was pretty cool. It was a little, a little scary, the traffic and... You know, the cops just kept it in the left lane. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. The sun is setting, and the boys want to check out some of Japan's nightlife. So they head over to a car show called Daikoku Futu, which showcases DJs, music, and some of Japan's illest rides. All right, Dai. So we're here at the Daikoku party. Yeah, right? Daikoku parking. Uh, what's it called? Daikoku parking. Oh, oh, Dio Coco? Yeah. Oh, OK. What do we see here? It's like a street car show. We do almost every, every Friday. So let's take a look around and see what we find. OK. I swear to God, this is my this is my purpose. I came over here to get a skyline, and yeah. that's it. I don't care. I'm in the military, and that's the only way I can come over here and get one and bring it back and not without having any problems. That's cool. come true right there. Daijiro, dude. Daijiro! Wait, hold on! The one cool thing about the Dai Kukufuto party was that uh, basically just so many different people there, and they're all really friendly. Um, you know, they're all coming up to us and talking to us about, um, like, what we do back in the States and, like, you know, what they're doing with their car. And, you know, like, it's not, like, a competitive atmosphere at all. They're just all there to help. Lisa? Uh, he knows about you. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the Bosuzoku guys were actually pretty funny. They would actually ride their motorcycles down the lanes um, between all the cars and just sit there and just rev their, uh, rev their motorcycles. Just like, just like, not like once or twice, you know, like just constantly, just that, like, you know, all the way up, all the way around. The low rider guys bling, scary bling, bling, bling people. Bling, bling people? <laughs> <laughs> the Tacoma that was at the show was pretty awesome. He added a uh, slam pretty much as far as it could go. The motor was actually raised up in the engine bay so that he could uh, drop the car onto the frame rail. What the f***? And like, when he would drive by, he actually would slam the back all the way to the ground, just like shoot sparks out all the way down the road. I almost want to 
I'd say the most annoying car was the uh, the DJ minivans. Not because of the car, the cars are cool, but the crazy dancers that were out front just like wouldn't stop dancing, like they just had the music cranked up and you almost couldn't think when you walked by. The guys look like they're having fun, but the real action starts when they visit Japan's very own amusement park for drifting, the Ebisu Circuit. This is the legendary Ebisu circuit. Ebisu is made up of seven different tracks. Built inside of his parents' zoo and safari park, the entire circuit was designed by Japanese D1 driver Nobushige Kumakubo, who built all seven of Ebisu's courses by hand. But that's not all he built. He's also testing out his brand new 500 horsepower real wheel drive Subaru Impreza. So this over here is uh, Kumakubo's new car. It's uh, WRX, it's converted to rear-wheel drive. It's probably went through lots of weight reduction because this car is pretty heavy stock. You can see he did uh, front wheel tubs for more steering angle clearance. These vents, the way that they're cut out, um, for when the car's actually um, going sideways, when it's in drift, it's catching uh, way more air than like a standard front-mounted radiator or like just stock location. As you see here, these uh, doors are cut out. This whole funneling system uh, just catches the air and just forces it right to the back. It's got everything it needs to be a good, good drift car. We'll see how it performs. Chris, what do you think about this car? Dude, it's awesome. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Here we are over at Driftland, just like an open track. It's got numerous different ways you can run through it. Uh, this is actually the same place that they uh, filmed the Drift Bible at. So we're going to go out, run some donuts, and hit the course a little bit. This is Drift, drift Run. Yeah, yeah, this is Driftland. We usually use for practice. Oh, usually for practice? When, when we were beginner. Oh, OK, OK. This is pretty fun. Yeah, I is. like this course. It's pretty easy. Yeah. It's just a uh, second gear style. So you just leave it in gear, just kind of rip around the course. E-brake, back on the gas brakes, clutch kick, get a little faint. Brakes, brakes. Oop, oop, oop. Careful, careful, careful. careful. <laughs> E-brake, back on the gas, bring it around, bring it around. Yes. Flip, brakes, gas, gas. Yes. Perfect. Let the tires cool down a little right, bit. Right, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Since drifting on the real toge is illegal, Kumakubo decided to build a replica toge course at Ebisu. Guy and Chris can't pass up the opportunity to tackle the blind corners and narrow passes of Ebisu's mock toge. Here we are at the uh, mock toge over at Ebisu. Yep. And basically, this is a uh, like a mock up of actual. Yeah, Japanese numbers, very, right? Very similar to Japanese actual toge. Okay. That is fake. Let's go, right? <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs> so you know this road pretty well? Mm, yeah. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you don't trust me? Oh, I trust you, Dai. Can you see? Whoa, careful. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, watch your mouth, watch your mouth. Oh, brakes, 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 brakes! Holy <laughs> Gas, 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 you got it, you got it. Go, go, go. Whoa! <laughs> yes, like that. You know, it's fun. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> that was good stuff. You wanna try? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Coming all the way to Japan, you know, you can't you can't show up and not run the tailgate. It's cool. If you crash out of control, yeah. car, cars drop off and lower. Oh, and they roll over? Oh, we don't want to do that now. You're gonna be die. <laughs> not not like you. No like me. <laughs> You're D not gonna be like him. D-I-E. Yeah. Oh man, that's bad. Yep. Yes, yes. Careful. 
full. Oh. Yeah, this part is scary. Ooh. It's pretty tight, huh? Yeah, very tight. Take it easy through here. Yeah, <laughs> you better. Oh. And we're safe. Wow. Woo. That was real tight, real nuts. And for uh, never running here before, you know, it was really scary. I just tried to just keep it on the road, really. We had a close call. Very close call up top. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> it's okay though. Car's yeah. okay. Car's okay. It's all, it's all that. That's most important. Most important. <laughs> but when we return, the guys at Tackle were the toughest and most intimidating drift courses known to man. Ebisu South. Drift or die, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to Formula D. After tearing up the drift lane and toge courses, Chris and I are ready for the menacing Ebisu South Track. One of the more popular practice courses for Japanese drivers, Ebisu South is easily one of the most difficult in the world. If Chris and I can master the South course, they can drift anywhere. For the Ebisu South course, uh, seen in person is way different than what it looks like on the videos. Like, I didn't even recognize it until just now, like, looking at the, uh, watching the guy run the, the actual race line. It's not so easy. Yeah, it doesn't look easy. <laughs> so, hopefully we'll at least make it around the course. Yeah. yeah. After getting a feel for the course, Guy decides to drive first. I'm getting nervous. Yeah, a little <laughs> scary, huh? <laughs> This is <laughs> Okay, you're okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's slow, huh? Yeah, that turn is very slow. Second, second. Oh! <laughs> there you go. There you go, Dad. Careful. <laughs> Watch the bump. Okay. Oh. Oh. Your first try. Yep. That was good. Thank you. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> there you go, buddy. <laughs> I'm a chicken. You're a chicken. Okay, brakes, brakes. There you go. Bring it in. Okay. Not bad, first time. He nailed it. He almost had the um, the big turn on his first try, but then the uh, second time he came around, wrapped all the way around and nailed it. That was not bad, buddy. Thank not you. bad at all. Yeah, it's his turn. After sitting shotgun, now it's Chris's turn to test the legendary track. So if she makes it back in one piece. Take it easy, man. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to close the window. Don't have too much experience with the right hand drive. You gotta get used to it. Whoa, good. <laughs> Just feeling it out. Good. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> 
loose. Not bad, not bad. Uh oh. <laughs> you don't know how to drive. Wow. Yes, you made it. Wow, that's good. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Crazy course. <laughs> you are crazy <laughs> for building this thing. Like I was saying, just take take your time. You know, you don't need to rush into it. You know, don't want to put the car on the wall. But uh, yeah, it was, it was it was good. It was a fun time. Thanks. <laughs> Tell him uh, I want to say thanks for letting me come out. So uh, uh, it's an uh, honor to run here. <laughs> Thank you. Chris Forsberg got the chance of a lifetime to see where drifting was born. After three intense days of culture shock, strange foods, and crazy drifting, it's back to business for Chris as he flies back to LA to prepare for the Formula D season opener. Please, please, G4, take me back to Japan.